Let's get you some fundamental opinion now. Srinivas Rao Ravuri, the CIO at PJM India joins us on the show now. Srinivas, hi, good to have you on the show today. Um, first up, let's start with the macro picture itself, right? India has been a clear outperformer versus the rest of the globe throughout the year. The question is, is this decoupling likely to stay here for longer? And what's the, um, you know, your, what's your sense how the global investors are looking at India? Yes, um, uh, Indian markets has clearly outperformed the uh, rest of the um, region and other markets. And I think um, this is for a very um, right reason. And I think this um, premium uh, valuation will continue. You know, we, it's difficult to say outperformance in terms of what will happen in one month, three months. But I would clearly think that um, over a medium to long term, uh, this outperformance will continue. Um, I would say there are three reasons for this outperformance. So first is the corporate earnings. I think we continue to see a very strong corporate earnings growth. And second is um, relative uh, performance in terms of India doing better than other emerging markets on um, economy front. Um, so I think that is the economy and macro stability. I think uh, government focus on macro stability has clearly played out and we as a country stand out. In the last seven, eight months, or last two years, um, when you see our um, broader number. And third issue, I would say, is a, um, a more on the softer side. India is uh, clearly emerging stronger on softer aspects. Uh, you know, I think the way we have handled our political leadership and handled the recent uh, global events also has um, made sure that India has gained stature globally. I think you know, that also is attracting more people because historically also given our size in terms of um, population and GDP, it's a huge market. So this along with this stronger government is making um, uh, more and more people look at India positively. So at a time when everybody thought that bets on IT sector cannot go wrong, this is a year where IT has been an underperformer. Your view on the sector is the worst behind. Should one start to look at large IT names? No, I don't think um, uh, IT will do well in the near to medium term. Um, well, it is true that in the recent past, IT has done well, and that is what market is all about when everybody thinks that uh, this is it, uh, this is what where uh, sector is headed. And we see a surprise, and that's what we've seen. Um, so IT sector per se, I think, will do very well. We are extremely positive on the outlook for the Indian IT industry, given the kind of inroads they have made in the global markets. We continue uh, to gain market share. We continue to do well in the emerging um, uh, areas within the technology space. So I think, um, so I'm positive on the IT sector, but I think we need to clearly differentiate between IT companies doing well in terms of their top line profit line, profit growth versus what is the outlook for IT sector in the stock market. You know, what are the stock returns from stock market? And that is where I have a concern. My concern is essentially coming from the fact that if you see IT companies still about a few months back used to say that our outlook is very positive for next one, two, three years. And we have clearly seen this commentary changing in the recent times to companies saying that, oh, you know, we have solid visibility for next two quarters, not two years. Okay, so that was about IT, but let's talk about the other two, uh, you know, sectors which have been showing leadership of late. That's been autos and banks. What's your, you know, call on these two sectors? Because they've already rallied quite a bit. Where do you see it headed from here on? Sure. Let me start with autos. So we are also positive on autos, more on the passenger car and commercial vehicle than on the two wheelers. Um, I think um, yeah, as just as we are surprised by the resilience of stock markets, we are also surprised by the resilience of auto demand. If you see month on month numbers in the passenger car and also commercial vehicle, a continued surprise. Um, so I think uh, the the underlying demand seems to be pretty robust, and that is what makes us to be positive um, on the uh, passenger car and commercial vehicle space. Um, same applies to look at the kind of bookings uh, new launches are getting. And India's uh, the long term story nobody can deny, but even when you have gone through a relatively tough period in the last twelve to eighteen months. Um, 
the demand for um, passenger vehicles is pretty strong and that is what makes us to be positive on auto. Coming to uh, financials or banks, uh, so we used to be underweight uh, financials for quite some time in the last three years, but um, incrementally we have also turned positive and um, increased weights to banks in the last um, two quarters, I would say. Apart from banks, auto, IT, where does your preferences lie? Which sectors are you preferring and which sectors are you completely avoiding as of now? So one sector that we are um, liking and clearly positive and overweight is capital goods are uh, including the manufacturing sector. I think um, we are going to see uh, revival in capex spending in the country uh, as the manufacturing is finally picking up in the country after um, prolonged um, slowdown uh, and uh, after the kind of initiative that government has taken to see that the manufacturing comes back in the country, including the initiatives like PLN. So um, that's what makes us positive on um, um, industrials or capital goods as a sector and we are overweight. And sectors that we are avoiding, um, I think one is metals. You know, clearly uh, we are in a extremely turmoil, turbul turbulent times in terms of what is happening globally. Um, so commodities, global commodities, you know, where you have absolutely Indian companies have no control on their selling price, um, uh, can see um, headwinds as uh, we get, head into um, a recessionary period. I think that's where we think it is better to avoid companies that are dependent on global events for their business and their pricing, and they are avoiding uh, such companies. Thank you so much, sir. It's been a while we spoke to you. Thank you so much for taking out time for us. On that note, we're taking a break. Coming back quickly, stay tuned.